Hey, welcome back to ARTV, your guide to current events within the aesthetic industry. I'm your host, Vivian Ichendu, the Vendor Relations Specialist here at Aesthetic Record. Thank you for tuning in to episode six, where we continue supporting small businesses that are doing big things. I'm proud to introduce today's guest speaker, Claire Dishman, founder of Helixer, an FDA-approved homeopathic remedy, Arnica, in the form of a post-procedural oral spray. Now try saying that five times really fast. When used with the free companion app, Heal Elixir speeds up healing by reducing post-procedural bruising and swelling because of its high potency and unique protocol. Claire, thank you for joining. Please help our viewers get to know you and how you developed Heal Elixir as a way to transform post-procedural recovery. Vivian, thank you so much. I want to thank everyone at Aesthetic Record for doing this and for getting some messages out there about newer companies. You guys are doing an amazing job. So thank you so much. Um, how did I get into Arnica? Um, I was a home furnishings designer and after 9-11, I decided to evolve my um, studies of natural healing. It was something I'd been doing for many years before that. And immediately uh, I got really captivated by the first aid uh, experience of homeopathy because uh, I'm a big believer in Western medicine. Obviously we all need that, but. Uh, there's things that alternative medicine does really well. And one of those things is uh, bruise reduction. So Arnica should be in every first aid kit. It should be in every home that has children, pets, or anyone <laughs> that might potentially have an accident, which is all of us. So. Um, I originally was thinking about it for surgical procedures because that was where I really developed the protocol. Um, there are different kinds of Arnica and I, I want to explain a little bit about that. I, I think as well known as Arnica is, there is so much confusion about it because you can read that it's a toxic substance and it can be when it's used herbally. When it's prepared homeopathically, it's a highly diluted formula and that's what makes it so remarkable. So um, without going into too many details, the more dilute it is, the stronger it is. The thing about herbal arnica is that it is toxic in uh, even small doses. So you have to be careful with that. Um, you can use it topically for bruising and it's excellent in that regard. But when it comes to treating the whole system, the whole body and the deepest level, that's when the homeopathic arnica is the most effective. So just to recap that, there's herbal arnica and there's homeopathic arnica. What I provide to the industry is homeopathic arnica. And there are other uh, people out there that understand this is an excellent treatment for um, aesthetic procedures, surgery, injections, um, anything that could cause bruising. The thing that makes Helixir so unique is just the ease of use. It comes as an oral spray. You can take it anywhere with ease. And it also comes with an app that is basically there to remind you to take it because the frequency in the dosing is what's critical. And in homeopathy, we say that we dose according to the severity of the injury. So if you have the potential to get bruising, you want to take it often. And that's why the app is just um, a nice reminder. What is Arnica? What is it used for? And what forms does it come in? Arnica is one of the oldest herbal and homeopathic preparations. 
homeopathy, just as an entire discipline, is only 250 years old. But Arnica was developed um, early on in the practice, and it's been used for bruising, for injuries, for healing from uh, traumatic experiences for as long as homeopathy has been around. What's the difference between Arnica and CBD in homeopathy? You know, a lot of people ask, what is the difference between Arnica and CBD? And there's really no way to compare those two. CBD is an alkaloid that is extracted from uh, the hemp or cannabis plant. And there's actually many, many alkaloids. CBD is only one of them. And that is really the most popular. And I have to say, just within my own family, I know a lot of people that are having success with CBD. So um, it's an excellent treatment. Arnica is very different in that it's actually working on the tissue changes. It's working on the actions of the blood vessels dilating and going right to the tissue to treat the bruising. How does it work? We don't have a way to explain that. Um, is it interchangeable with CBD? No, it's not because CBD um, is working in a very specific way on pain. Arnica is working on the whole system. So it's working on bruising. It's working on actually the feeling of shock. I mean, there's been a lot of trends in herbal medicine, um, ginkgo, I mean, all these different, I mean, certain mushrooms and those things become depleted in the wild um, if they're not, you know, grown intentionally. And the thing about homeopathy is that a single plant can heal for generations. So it's truly a green medicine in that way because you're not using gross amounts of plant material to provide this medicine. And that's an extraordinary thing to consider in, in this current environment we find ourselves in. What are the homeopathic uses for Arnica? Is it safe to be used in a clinical setting? The way that uh, it came about, homeopathy at the turn of the century in the United States was actually 25% of the medical hospitals in the United States were homeopathic. Homeopathy was used side by side with Western medicine. That's why homeopathy is approved by the FDA um, it's in what we call the pharmacopoeia of the United States. These are legal medical substances that can be prescribed. Um, I think like the medical physicians, all of our aesthetic practitioners have a huge burden on them in terms of education. Uh, they also, <clears throat> a lot of times, just have practice management. I mean, they have a lot on their shoulders um to deliver their services and what i'm trying to be the voice for whether it be helixir whether it be arnica cream um whether it be just anything that helps the patient feel like that practitioner is leaving the office with them and making sure that they walk away with every tool they have to have not only the best outcome, but the least side effects from the procedure. When should you use traditional medicine versus Arnica for pain relief and swelling reduction? A lot of people ask, you know, should I use traditional Western medicine, pain medication, or should I use homeopathy? I mean, to me, the answer is obvious. You want to stay away from anything that has side effects. Homeopathy has no side effects. You're going to be able to help your pain, help your bruising and swelling. You're helping not only on multiple levels, 
but you're helping your system be able to respond better and bounce back better. What forms of Arnica are used in aesthetics? One question that the injectors have is what's the best way to use Arnica? How do I get it out to my patient? And I mean, there's the pills that come in the little blue bottle or purple bottle. Um, there's spray, which I think personally is the easiest. Um, and then there's topical cream which is actually more of an herbal preparation, but um, the various kinds of creams you can have from the very basic to a very refined kind of cosmetic grade Arnica cream that we offer at Helixer. Um, and I, what I suggest is that the practitioner actually have the spray and give it at the time of treatment and then the patient can go home with the spray or the pillules and then begin to take it. Um, you're not going to find the same high potency available in the, in the pills. Um, there's other pill forms. There are some pill forms that have higher potencies, but you don't get as many doses. And I hate to keep going back to Helixer, but you do have many more doses and you have the ease of use. I mean, you just have a little spray bottle that fits in the purse and it's, um, it's very effective. So if a nurse injector or cosmetic injector wants to know how to help their patient give the Arnica at the time of the treatment, um, have them wait maybe a couple of hours so that um, puncture can close up, then they can begin using the topical Arnica cream and continuing to use the spray. Because I like to, I mean, you hit it from all angles. Are there any risks? A lot of people want to know about the side effects of homeopathy. And the amazing news is that there, is, there are no side effects. You can take homeopathy, you can take the pills or the spray with heart medication, um, you know, high blood pressure, what, whatever medication you may be on. Homeopathy is working on a different system in the body. And so it's not, um, it's not interacting on that level. So it's completely safe to use. One thing that comes up also is, can I take this if I really truly need to take uh, another pain medication? And the answer is yes. Um, the Arnica doesn't interact on any physical, chemical way. Um, just the way there's no side effects, there are no chemical interactions. So. If you found yourself needing to take any other medication, whether it be pain medication, medication that had heavier substances, even opiates in it, it's perfectly fine to take homeopathy, take Arnica with those substances. There are no drug interactions. What led you to develop Helixer and what sets it apart from other Arnica retailers? I developed the elixir actually when I had a surgical procedure myself and I took everything that I knew from studying homeopathy and experimented with a protocol and I had a extremely profound result and so I had friends and family who were also getting surgeries and I started, you know, suggesting this and using it and fine tuning it. And everyone reported that not only did they have a remarkable experience, but their doctor was also completely blown away and saying that their recovery was remarkable. What were they doing? Um, they hadn't seen, you know, that type of recovery and 
I have to say I had one friend and this is this is probably in the early days one of the most severe cases and she was like yeah I've got to get my implants replaced um she actually was getting married and she was getting smaller implants and when she went in for the procedure her implants were leaking and it was what was supposed to be a routine surgery turned into a a pretty serious um ordeal and of course a much longer surgery much longer uh time under anesthesia and I just spoke with her, you know, daily while she was recovering and I was like, you know, just keep taking the Helixer every 15 minutes. Keep taking your Arnica like as long as you're awake. It's something for you to focus on and it really took her mind off the trauma of what had happened because of course she was, you know, upset about what had happened to her body but it also just kind of i mean i hear from a lot of people that the repetition is very high and i appreciate that but um the thing is it's only the recommended dose if you if it is not possible for you to take it that often it's fine but when you're really focused on recovering um what else are you doing? <laughs> I mean, what she told me was that the repetition of the medication gave her a rhythm in recovery and it gave her something to do and it gave her something to focus on that she knew was helping her. And she was experiencing that. She was experiencing um, a calmness, a lack of pain. And she went through that, um, the severity of that procedure she went through without any additional pain medication. When I had that talk with her about discomfort versus pain, she got it and she was like, I don't want additional burdens. And she, she did fine. So it really came from experience of helping other people. And I did it dozens and dozens of times. Um, and I had, friends of friends that started calling me and saying, um, hey, I heard you were, you know, doing this thing. Could I get some? And that's when I realized, you know, this needs to be available. This is a part of the market that isn't being addressed. And there are, of course, there's other companies that are out there, but in my um, experience, first of all, those companies aren't homeopaths. They're, um, they come from different backgrounds, but they don't have the clinical experience. And it's personally, it was my clinical experience of working directly with people to fine tune the protocol. And that's how Helixer got born. What is the recommended dosage for Helixer? And how does a Helixer companion app help users maintain that dosing schedule? People want to know what the recommended dosage is and for Helixir, even at the very high potency that it is, I recommend every 15 minutes. And that's what the app is for. It guides you through, it basically gives you a reminder and you can customize that reminder with different audio cues. But every 15 minutes is going to give you the best possible outcome. Now, if you skip a dose, it's not that big deal, a big a deal. You're going to fall asleep if you've had surgery or even if you've had injections, you might take a nap that afternoon. I don't um, expect anyone to, you know, not get the rest that they need. Um, 15 minutes is there so that in those first couple of days, you get as many doses in during your waking hours as you possibly can. What number should it be? It's really just as much as you can do. Um, the idea is to give you the best possible outcome. And my direct experience is that taking Helixer every 15 minutes is going to give you the best possible chance of having zero bruising or having extremely minimal bruising. 
Does Heo Elixir offer any therapeutic relief for other symptoms? Arnica is really a first aid remedy. It's, um, there are uses for it in deeper cases, but for all intents and purposes, the, the proper application of Arnica is for first aid. So a lot of athletes use Arnica for muscle soreness, and that is one of the key um, qualities of it. I see that you are donating a portion of your sales to help support a variety of natural health organizations. Can you share with us more information about the charities that you're supporting? Part of the sales of Helixer goes to supporting other homeopathic organizations around the world. We have Homeopaths Without Borders, which is very similar to Doctors Without Borders. They've been profoundly active in Haiti, um, and they're actually training uh, Haitian people to become homeopaths so that they can treat um, simple acute illnesses and prevent people from getting sicker. Um, some of the organizations that we support are about the homeopathic profession. So there's the Council for Homeopathic Certification, and that is our peer-based uh, review board. Um, it's the highest level of certification that you can get. So they have testing and they're actually working with the FDA and working to standardize homeopathic education. So um, that when you as a client are going to a homeopath, you can discern their level of education. If they're a CCH certified classical homeopath, then they have the highest level of certification. I'm also a big fan of NASH, which is the North American Society of Homeopaths. This is another um, charity that we donate to. And NASH is very involved in the legal aspects. Unfortunately, because of the huge pharmaceutical um, lobbying industry, homeopathy is under assault, which is really astonishing in a way. Uh, there's several countries around the world where homo homeopathy is a primary form of care um, because it's very affordable. Um, so uh, North American Society of Homeopaths is a fantastic organization. Um, we also support homeopathy for AIDS in Africa. That is Dr. Jeremy Shear from Great Britain moved to Tanzania in, I think, 20, uh, 2008 or nine. He set up an AIDS clinic. He's been incredibly successful with that. And again, they're also training local people to become homeopaths so that they have a more local, immediate form of healthcare that's affordable. They set them up with the homeopathic medications they need and they give them training to treat not only AIDS, but other um, acute illnesses. So those are some of the key organizations that we support homeopathy is incredibly viable as I'm not saying to replace Western medicine, but it really deserves a seat at the table because it can filter out a lot of things that progress and then need more expensive forms of healthcare. And if you can be treated with homeopathy early and get better, then you've, you've taken the burden off um, more skilled are people who are skilled in a different way and that are in a more expensive type of healthcare setting. So that's why we feel it's extraordinarily important to support homeopathy around the world. Claire, thank you so much for educating us about Arnica and its homeopathic benefits. I've learned so much from you today. So I appreciate you taking your time to come on here and share with our viewers about Arnica, Helixer, and also what you're doing in the community. So thank you so much. 
And that's a wrap for episode six of ARTV. If you are an Aesthetic Record user, make sure to log into market.aestheticrecord.com where you can purchase your very own Heal Elixir. If you're not an Aesthetic Record user, but wish to join the AR family, visit aestheticrecord.com where our team is eager to chat with you. If you're a small business doing big things and would like to be featured on our next episode, email me down below. I look forward to seeing you all very soon, but until then, stay safe and stay healthy.